Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on the term low VOC. When purchasing paint, cleaners, or furniture, you may come across a product claiming to be low VOC or even no VOC. But what does that mean? Low VOC isn't well defined because the term VOC itself, which stands for volatile organic compound, isn't well defined. Some narrowly define VOCs because their interest is only in chemicals contributing to outdoor smog. People interested in indoor air quality typically have a broader definition that can incorporate over 10,000 chemical compounds. Here's where things get interesting. Let's say you manufacture a product that you would like to label as being low VOC. Will you have an incentive to define VOCs narrowly or broadly? Well, you would have an incentive to use a very narrow definition. This often plays out when buildings attempt to get a green building certification. For example, a project of mine used low VOC products throughout, but when doing testing, we found a high level of VOC called PCBTF. A specific coating had a lot of that individual VOC, but the manufacturer still labeled their product as being low VOC. They didn't consider PCBTF to be a VOC because they were only using a narrow definition of VOC that only considered smog-forming chemicals. So if you can't trust the low VOC claim, how do you select products? Consider referencing one of many building product labeling and certification programs. The best product certifications are those that measure VOC emissions rather than VOC contents only. I have a final word of warning for buying low VOC paint. The pigment can add VOC content. So making a low VOC paint green in color may make it no longer green for the environment. If you'd like to learn more about volatile organic compounds, consider taking the one hour online class titled VOCs. It's in the IAQA University and you can visit the IAQA website for more information.